told you about him? Say hi, Jackson. <gasps> yeah. We're going to read a book today called One Dog Canoe. It was written by the author Mary Casanova, and the pictures are drawn by Ard Hoyt. I set off one morning in my little red canoe. My dog wagged his tail and said, can I come too? You bet, I said, a trip for two, just me and you. Look at, they're in the canoe. And look, they're wearing life jackets. Remember, when you're in the water, in the boat, you should always wear a life jacket. I dipped my paddle into ribbons of blue. Beaver stopped chewing and said, can I come too? There's not much room in it's a one dog canoe, but with a slap and a swim, Beaver scrambled in. How does Beaver look? Does he look happy? He does, he's in the red canoe. I swished past ferns where dragonflies flew. The loon stretched her wings. Can I come too? I doubt you'll fit. It's a one beaver, one dog canoe. But with a hoo-hoo flap, the loon landed in my lap. Do I have a loon in my lap? No, I have a chihuahua. But look, our friend in the book has a loon. <sighs> Slilently we glided under silver webs of dew. Woof peered in from the pines. Can I come too? Maybe next time. It's a one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe. But like an arrow on the wind, the woof bounded in. How does my friend look? Does she look kind of worried? Let's see. Still, I paddled on my little red canoe. A bear slid down the tree. Can I come too? We're pretty darn full. It's a one wolf, one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe. Look at them. How do they look? Do they look like they want another friend on the canoe? Let's see. But with a grunt and a thump and a cow-wump, Bear dropped his rump. <gasps> what happened? I stroked and stroked. What else could I do? Moose lifted his head and said, can I come too? Do you guys think the moose is gonna fit in the canoe? You'll do us all in. It's a one bear, one wolf, one loon, baver, dog canoe. Look at all those in there. But with the toss of his rack, the moose climbed in the back. That's a full canoe, isn't it? We teetered and tottered. I glared at my crew. Frop hopped on a rock and said, can I come too? Frog, can't you see? It's a one moose, one beaver, one wolf, one loon, one dog canoe. But with a leap. Look at, do you see the frog jumping in? Right there? <gasps> Pop, slosh, kabling, flop. What happened, guys?
We sputtered, we splashed, and swam, and drip-dried in the sand. Sorry, said Beaver. We should have listened to you. Guess you were right. It is a one-dog canoe. I started to grin. It's okay. We had a good swim. Then together we bailed till my vessel was dry. With a push and a swoon and a glide, we waved goodbye. How many people are left in the canoe? Just the girl and her dog. And like I said, they have life jackets on because it's always important to wear a life jacket when you're in a boat. I set off that evening as the northern lights grew, just me and my pal in my one dog canoe. Bye guys, it was nice seeing you again. Jackson had fun seeing you too. So it's just me and Jackson on my one command canoe right now. You guys just have fun at home. I miss you. Bye.